Hey, Calvin here, and I just did a video on this on my engineering channel, but I thought I'd make a more generalized version of that video and post it to this one. So I really enjoyed note-taking in college when I was in school. It was just one of the best parts about learning things. Obviously, I'm kind of a nerd, but I really like note-taking, and I used to take all of my notes in color, and specifically, I used to take it on printer paper. So I would just have no lines, no grids, I would just take my colored pens, go to class, and on a blank sheet of paper, start taking notes in color. And not only was taking notes in color a lot of fun for me personally, I think it also helped me improve a lot of my study routines and just being able to remember certain concepts and theories, especially when I look back on my notes for particular classes or subjects. So in this video, I wanna go over my experience of colored note takings and why I think if you are a student, you should be taking colored notes. I think it not only improves what you learn, but it also improves how you study and learn. Okay, so to start off, we need to talk about our brains. Our brains are very visual machines. So all day long, our brains are taking in a lot of information and a lot of that material is visual, whether that is reading a book or watching a video, listening to your lecture or your professor, in taking things from the whiteboard or the chalkboard, a lot of the stuff that our brains process is visual. Now, if you think about all the material that you look at and you watch and you read, so much of it is in black and white. And you'll notice that it is pretty hard to stay engaged with that material for a long period of time if things aren't in color. And I think it's obvious to say that color stimulates the mind and the brain a lot more effectively than just seeing things in black and white. So I wanna pose an experiment to you. So if you are a student and you have notes that you've taken in class before and you have them handy, go back to your notes on certain subjects that you might have studied maybe a year or longer ago and try to read through your notes and try to understand that material to the same extent that you did when you first took those notes. Now, chances are, if those notes are in black and white, it's probably gonna be a lot harder for you to remember exactly what those concepts and theories and everything was at the time of when you were taking those notes. Now, in order to improve recall and memory from notes from very, very long ago, I think it is very important to develop a color system or a color note-taking system. So that's what I wanna talk about next. Now, when I was in school, I used to take, obviously, all of my notes in color. However, I was not choosing random colors to take my notes in. Instead, I had some sort of a color system for each class or each semester, and I would stick to that color system. So when I talk about a color system, what I really mean is using specific colors for specific things in your notes. So for an example, you might use blue, the color blue for equations, you might use the color green for definitions, and you might use the color red for callouts and other little diagrams. Now the cool thing about this color system is that when you're re-reviewing your notes or you're studying for an exam or you're just trying to recall some information, your brain doesn't have to work as hard to try to figure out where certain information lays. Instead, it knows that blue is for equations and red is for callouts. So if you're looking for an equation, really when you're scanning your note pages, you're only looking at the blue text and it just helps finding and, and organizing a lot of your information a lot easier and a lot more efficient. Now, speaking of efficiency, because I've taken a lot of my notes in color, I've noticed that a lot of my study sessions and times that I would have to review my notes for either projects or homework or upcoming exams, those study sessions were a lot shorter and a lot more effective. And again, this is because you have a color system created for all of your notes. Your brain doesn't have to work as hard to try to decipher where certain information lays. Instead, it's just using that color system and scanning your notes and picking out exactly what information you need. So this just makes finding information a lot quicker. And again, because your brain has already formed those relationships between certain colors and certain categories in your notes, you're able to recall things quicker, you're able to find things quicker, and you're able to just establish and really retain that information for a longer period of time. And again, this is simply because color stimulates the brain a lot more effectively than black and white text. And let's be real, reading over a lot of black and white text is probably really boring and that's the last thing you want during a study cram session. Okay, so now I wanna talk about taking colored notes in lectures because I can already hear it you might be thinking, Calvin, I'm a student and my professor talks really fast and I just don't have time to take colored notes 
in class. It's okay if you don't have time to say colored notes in class. What I would recommend is going to class and writing down all of your notes in black and white and then once your class is over, go to the library or go to Starbucks, sit down and rewrite your notes in color. This does two things. The first is that it allows you a moment to review all of the material you just gained in the past hour at your class. And the second is that it allows you to organize information a lot better. And I guess a bonus thing that it allows you to do is that it allows you to add more information to your notes, whether that's more call outs or more definitions or diagrams. It just makes the note taking process a lot more effective and you come out with a really nice set of papers that have colors and things organized in place where they need to be and the material that you gather now just becomes a lot more useful when you're doing projects or homeworks or studying for exams. Okay so if you are a fast note taker what I would recommend is go to class with a bag of colored pens. Now I want to say that you should not come into class with 40 different colored pens. Instead, I would really limit your options. I would say maybe five or six different colors. And again, because you already have a color system defined, you are essentially limiting your options and not having to think or stress about what color to take what notes in because you have 50 billion colors. And that should make note taking in class a lot more effective and a lot quicker. Okay, the final tip is kind of an expensive one, but if you do have the budget for it, I would highly recommend investing in a tablet, maybe an iPad or a Android tablet or something similar with some sort of a stylus. Now I know that is a heavy investment, but again, if you do have the budget for it, iPads and tablets have note-taking apps that are really, really good. And the best part about those note-taking apps is that it allows you to take notes in color and you can switch colors super, super fast, way quicker than switching to a physical pen and then having to switch colors all over again. Okay, so in conclusion, that is my video on taking colored notes. And again, the most important thing to remember is that our brains are visual machines. They process a ton of visual information. So anything that we can do in our study routines and note taking to make that process a lot more efficient and a lot more streamlined, your brain will thank you later especially during those cram study sessions. So if you're watching this right before an exam, I hope your notes are in color, but if not, maybe the next class or next semester, uh, you'll be able to implement some of these tips and tricks and hopefully make just your learning process a lot more fun and engaging. Okay, and I'm gonna finish off with a very shameless plug. I have digital engineering paper. Uh, if you guys are in the STEM field, science, technology, engineering, math, uh, or if you just need grid paper, for your iPad or your Android tablet, that is linked down in the description below. But other than that, if you guys want more study tips or just more of my kind of background in school and all that fun stuff, let me know down in the comments below and I'll catch you guys in the next one.